Hello and welcome to the video. In today's video, I am going to share my September goals. I know it's a little bit late, but better late than never. And this is a big month, so I didn't want it to go by without sharing with you what I have planned for September. Before I get started, I want to share with you what products I'm using for this video. I am using my Pennies Not Perfection budget plan or budget kit. I will leave her Etsy shop linked below. You've seen me use this several times. It's one of my favorite, if not my favorite, budgeting kit. The usual layout is a one page calendar. Well, I found a two page calendar. I've had this for a while, so I'll try to see if I can find the link to that. But again, I've had it for so long, I'm not sure where I picked it up. But I do like a two page calendar every once in a while. So I have put a two page calendar in my kit. So you have seen me move into showing you another part of this month's kit. And that is what I picked up from the Glitter Mama on Etsy. And it is this beautiful September kit with these gorgeous fall colors and this shimmery rose gold. Knowing that this month was gonna be so big, I wanted something a little different, something a little special for the month of September. And so I picked up this kit and I love it. It's so cute the glitter mama i will leave her etsy shop link below as well if you go to her instagram she has a coupon code out there so if you're thinking about picking something up from her shop you'll want to check there first for that coupon code i've already laid down a couple bills and the bill due stickers i am using come from mama's got a budget etsy shop so i will leave that link below too i think these bill due stickers go perfectly and i already had them on hand so yeah things are looking good so let's get started with these goals. Okay, so kicking things off, my first goal for September is to pay off the blue green and become debt free. So you already know that is a big one. And if you saw my debt snowball update a couple days ago, you know that I only have about 1300 left to go. I have a payment schedule for about 1200 coming up this week. And if I have to not eat <laughs> to pay that extra 130 some, no, I'll be okay. But I am really going to try to make that happen this week. So within a week, I'll cross off this first goal of September and one of my most life-changing achievements. So that's really exciting in and of itself, but I do have a couple more goals. And my second goal is to start contributing to my 401k, at least to my company's match. And I know some of you may be thinking, well, wait a minute, that is not the third baby step. And I'm just gonna go ahead and reveal something to you right now. I think that moving forward, I'm gonna switch things up a little bit. I know that that's technically not Dave Ramsey's plan, but moving forward, I think it's important for me to take advantage of my company's match. I went 30 some months without contributing to my 401k and missing out on that match and missing out on that money. And I'm just not hearing it anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know some people who were somewhat following Dave Ramsey and contributing to their 401k and I don't blame you. I decided not to, which I'll share a little bit later as to why I did stop my contributions, but I'm over it. I'm not listening anymore. <laughs> and I will start back my 401k contributions. I have a meeting next week with my employer's retirement plan or my retirement plan with my employer. So I'm gonna work out a plan with them to get started. And I will let you know kind of how that comes along as well. But yeah, I'm super excited about this. Cause again, I'm leaving money on the table, but that was one of the things that fueled me to become debt free as soon as possible. And I'm excited to get back to contributing. And last but not least, I would like to contribute at least $100 to my holiday savings. So you already know I have about $500 in my holiday savings. I'm working toward a goal of about a thousand. If I put in 100 for the next few months, that should get me covered. And yeah, hopefully in September, I can start those $100 contributions to my holiday savings. As far as important dates that I need to budget for, I can't think of anything through September. Of course, September 22nd is the first day of fall, my favorite season. But though I am planning on decorating the house, I'm not planning on spending a lot in the way of that. 
As far as one-time expenses, I don't think I have any either. Of course, I can come back and fill this in a little bit later, but I do have some monthly to-dos that I wanna share. Okay, so it's that time of year. It is time for fall reseeding. So I'm gonna add here that between September, if it doesn't get cool enough, it'll be October, I'll need to aerate and reseed the lawn. So I'm gonna set aside a budget of about $200. To get the aerating is 65. And the reseeding, I'm hoping I can take care of in that $135 or so. There are some products that I already have, but I'll need to pick up seed, fertilizer, and lime. And I'm planning on doing that myself as I have in recent years. So I'm really hoping that a budget of $200 will get it. If not, I may save a little bit more, but I know between again, September and October, I wanna get that taken care of. And then another thing I need to do in September is to assess my savings. And this is really just me making a note to myself to really take inventory of what I have. Of course, this is like baby step three to me. So, you know, baby step three is three to six months living expenses. You know, baby step one was the $1,000 emergency fund. So of course I have that. I had set a personal goal in 2020 to put aside $5,000, which I met when the pandemic started and we were turning our attention to saving over paying so much debt. So my 2020 goal of $5,000 is met, but I wanna make sure I've successfully completed baby step three. If not, I will contribute to my savings to make sure I have met that three to six months living expenses, at least three months in that savings so I can kind of feel free to take care of some of these other things and build up to the six months after I've at least established three months. So I'm gonna assess my savings and see if I have at least that 8K or so sitting in that account. And last of my monthly to-dos, I will be getting the dental work that I saved for a couple months back. Next week, I'll be going to the dentist to get those fillings I had talked about. I went to the dentist on Monday for a cleaning and I talked to my dentist about the crown that I had also saved for. And good news, he mentioned that the porcelain is chipping away, but that the crown itself is still adhered to the metal. So it doesn't look like I'll need a new crown right away. So that's good news. I have the money saved, but I'll need to have that crown later than sooner. So that's a good thing. I may be able to move that savings around just depending on. And yeah, I'm excited. I won't have to dish out that money and I can hold on to this crown for a little bit longer. Even though it's an old, ugly crown, it's okay. It's function over beauty at this point. Okay, short and sweet. This is a full month, a very exciting month. I can't be more elated about the things that will be taken care of this month. Like I said, if just one of these things, can you guess which one is taken care of, I will be elated. But most of the others I'm super excited about as well. I'm loving this kit. It's gonna be a joy to take a look at. I'm hoping your September, though fairly early in the month, is coming along well so far. Hopefully you've set up some really good goals and are excited about your September. Let me know what is your best, favorite, most exciting goal for the month of September. I'll see you in the comments and I'll chat with you next time.